freedom, prosperity, and peace. Well, here's an article by Chuck Baldwin, buy mm -hmm. a gun. Yep. I don't think I've ever seen a newspaper, people. It, it's right here. Buy a gun. Buy a gun. <clears throat> that's a buy see, that's, a gun. That's Pastor Chuck Baldwin. Can you can you zoom in on that one there? Uh, Pastor Chuck Baldwin. He's written got a couple articles in with me here, and he's a he's a Christian pastor. He's out of Pensacola, Florida, and uh, he's setting a, a good example. He's a he's a Baptist background, and uh, he says buy a gun. The, the story is very well documented. He goes through the issues of of how the founding fathers all had. Uh, that concept. That's why we have the Second Amendment. It's simply that uh, people can protect themselves. So the minute you have a, a gun-free zone, the minute you have a gun-free zone, look what happens in Virginia and, and other uh, well, campuses. New York City. Around. New York City. Look, Highest look at that. crime rate ever. They yes. took the guns away from everybody Absolutely. in New York. And who's got the guns? The mafia. Yeah, the mafia, the <laughs> ma you know, bad guys in the government. The so, bad guys in the government, which the in some cases are the same people. Mm -hmm, true. I mean, we have numerous cases down in Los Angeles. They had to fire, what, 20, 30 cops that were doing the murder and the home break-ins for the mob. And these were people with badges. So when you called in and said, hello, my local police department, I'm going to be gone for two weeks. Could you make sure the police patrol my house? and make it? You were basically tipping off the people who were going to do the break-ins. And they, when they caught those cops, I think it was 20 or 30 of them lost their jobs. Five of them went right over to Florida and got jobs again as cops. Mm. And I'm like, why aren't they in jail? <laughs> Something's desperately wrong in this country. I'm so glad, people. We've got the publisher right here on Take Back America, right here for On Second Thought, putting out, this is his first issue of a nationwide paper. Now, you mentioned Houston. You're going to cover all of Houston with this paper, right? Yeah, we're here. This is, that's, that's a unique situation, William. There's a church there, a pastor friend of mine, uh, that's uh, been been I've been working with it for about four months now, and he has two churches. He has an English speaking church a group at 10:30 in the morning on Sundays, and he has another Spanish group at one o'clock in the afternoon. The English speakers are about 200 members, and the Spanish group's about 90. Of that 290, <clears throat> 160 people, adults, are going out on the street in Houston, all of Houston Metro. They're printing 1.4 million copies, and they're covering the whole area. It's going to take them a couple months, two, three months to go out and do the whole area. 